You want to know how tough it is, man. You want to listen to some of these phone calls, people doing things they never, ever, ever thought they would do for money in a bad economy. Where's my man Keith at? Keith out of Memphis. What's going on? What's going on, George? What's going on, Mike? Oh, you got dude, it, Keith. I, my mind is blown, man. So what are you doing that you never thought you'd do because of your financial situation? Man, I probably have to do something strange for the change, man. I had to go back, reverse the date, and, you know, a heavy set chick or catch me one of these old Panthers. Wait a minute. One of those old what? Did, 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 what Not did you a say? cougar, a Panther. <laughs> Did you say you have to go back to dating a heavy set chick? Yeah, man. You know, they keep some cash, man. They definitely keep some money. Wait a minute. So you're saying that you date a big girl because the big girls have money and will take care of you? I might as well. I mean, it's, it's economically, man, it's, it is really good. Wow. Yep. I can't believe yep. he just I mean, said I that. I mean, listen, man. You can call it what you want to call it, man. I mean, it's well, we're not, we're not, we're not judging, we're not judging you, buddy. My don't, point, don't get it. My point is, why would a big girl be more likely to take care of you financially than a not big girl? Well, you know, the little, little thin chicks, man. You know, they ain't, they ain't gonna just too much try to take care of you, but a big girl gonna need some love in twenty four seven. So I might as well go on and get in where I fit in. You, you know, I, th- I, I think you got a lot of big women right now, Keith, that would totally like to get their little fat hands around your neck right now <laughs> <laughs> and choke you until you are woozy. <laughs> I've been waiting to talk to you, Alicia. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you? You sound so happy. I am. George asked her what she did for money, George. Believe it or not. So what did what did you do, sweetheart? I posed for a foot fetish magazine. Oh, that's not bad. A foot I fetish. Oh, yes, it was. My feet were in every position possible. <laughs> <laughs> and I am five foot ten. My legs are forty three inches long. So it's feet, oh feet and legs. Yeah, it's pretty much feet and legs. Wait I a minute. So how far up your legs did did, right. did you show? All the way up. Oh wow! Wait a minute. The fishnet stocking stopped where hold it. the cookie stopped. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this right. Because so did the cookie a... get shown as well? No, no cookie was oh, shown. That was, that oh, oh, you ain't Alicia. done nothing there. You Alicia. ain't done nothing. You showed your feet and your legs. Right. Come on yeah, now. I see my legs. Boo. Yeah, please. I wouldn't have paid you for that. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no, where no, can no. I go so get paid to show ahead. my legs is what I want to know. Say it again. I like to go get my legs shown. I put on some fish nets for $50,000 and just going to show my legs. I, what can I tell you? Hell, I show everything for $50,000. <laughs> <laughs>